what's up taurus i'm back thank you guys for watching my channel she's got the gift taurus sun moon rising and venus sign i'm back with your daily i thank you guys for all your likes your comments and to all the ones that subscribe thank you guys for rocking with me you got my blessings tenfold take what's for you out these readings taurus and leave the rest okay don't try to make nothing fit you know if it don't it don't fit to the t because it's a general it's not a personal okay you know that already though you already know that tarot has no gender if I'm saying more woman than man, you it's if it's a man, you put it there, leave it. Don't try to make nothing extra fit, Taurus. Let's get right into your reading. Spirit, white light, holy angels, I call upon you to guide me. I'm truly grateful. Thank you for using me as a vessel. Please continue to guide me and give me clear channel messages for the Taurus. Allow them to start this week off with gratitude, peace and abundance of finances from com coming from everywhere. May debts get cleared. Skin get clear, <laughs> bodies get healthier. Just guide us, spirit. Give us clarity. Continue to push out all the negativity and continue to keep those old doors locked while the new ones is open. And we truly grateful. Thank you for having our back. No weapon be informed against the Taurus shall prosper. Thank you. Can I have three crowning messages for Taurus at this time, spirit? What's going on with Taurus? Mm. Get in your bag, stay in your bag. Get in your bag, stay in your bag. You know that um that P. Diddy song? Get in your bag, stay in your bag. Look what popped out. You showed up in your own reading strong as F. Mm -hmm. It's like can't nothing get to you. Like you're not allowing the negativity to knock on your door. Oh, that's amazing, Taurus. Someone sees this about you too here. The moon. It could be some deception around you right now, Taurus. While you blocking all the negative shit out, you know what I mean. It's just it's all it's it's the world. It's this place we call world here. You already know. Everybody ain't gonna be like us. We are gonna clarify that and see what's going on here with the moon. It could be a Pisces that's holding a, a secret from you. Mm. You got death and rebirth. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Oof. You got the Ace of Cups here, the Six of Cups. Mm -hmm, we knew his, he was bringing his ass back. And then you got the Knight of Cups here as well. Something about a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio went through a, a ego death here and now is ready to come and um give you what you want. Or this could be a new person because you got the Ace of Cups showing up here. So it's clear that something new is about to begin with you while the past is still holding on to memories, nostalgia, wishing that they had you back. It's they, yeah, they keep pointing me to this for a reason. It's some deception going on around you. But you, I, this is like out of your control. I feel like you don't. Thank you, Spirit. Something is telling me to don't. I can't get it out, you guys. See what I'm saying? Don't scoop down to the bullshit. Don't scoop below. You already know it's some fuckery going on around you. Period. Let's, let's clarify this, though. What's this about? It's like, it's, if it ain't one thing, it's another. While you taking care of business and doing whatever it is that you're supposed to do that to, to, like, you know, make your, your name out here in the world here. Or like, you know, taking you taking your place out here in the world and then it's like a fuck boy or fuck girl energy around you. Somebody's hiding something. This could be a Leo, I just heard. What's this moon of spirit for Taurus? What's this moon about for Taurus? Listen to you already know. You already know. Something to do with a fucking Pisces here. Pisces is hiding something from you straight up. You could feel like everything is going okay and you know you met the right one, but you still gotta dig deep. Listen to like ask and you shall receive. Something is something. Give me a little bit more on this spirit. It's like you know this Pisces is hiding something from you. Give me a little bit more on this for Taurus. Temperance here. The four of wands. And then the five of cups. But I wanted to flip it in reverse for a reason. Mm. 
Taurus, something is coming to light pertaining a Libra. Some said Libra. I did not want to say Libra. Um, a Leo or a Sagittarius and a Pisces. It could simply be that somebody is deciding to choose you and have patience with you and listen to themselves and come towards you. Ain't no place like home. Home is where the heart is, I just heard. And somebody could be hurt. Something about a Pisces here. Strong, picking up strong Pisces. And then now I'm picking up Cancer too. Give me a little bit more on this spirit, please. Can you please make this clear for me? Thank you. I'm truly grateful. Can you make this clear for me, spirit? Something about some lemonade I just heard. Somebody was just drinking lemonade. I'm here and guess who? Mm -hmm. Give me a little bit more on this spirit. Make this clear for me, please. Make this clear for Taurus, please. Thank you. Two of Pentacles at the bottom. Three of Wands here with the Sun. Somebody doesn't know how to tell somebody that they outgrew them or somebody checked out emotionally here doesn't know how to tell this person or like somebody's not trying to hurt your feelings or you not. This could be anybody's energy. It don't have to be you. Somebody is ready to, you know, go towards what makes them happy and from the looks of it, they are. With the five of cups here, the three of wands and the sun. Pisces, Sagittarius, and Leo. So there's something going on between a Pisces and a Sagittarius. You're going to find out about it or listen to your intuition when it comes to these two people. Because you already know they're doing some shit, snake shit behind your back. At the end of it all, you're going to have the last laugh or you're going to be happy once you figure this out. Or it's like something you need to figure out here. You already feel it deep down inside. You you know something that's going on between a, a Pisces and a Sagittarius or a Leo and a Pisces. Two of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Six of Swords, get in your bag, stay in your bag. Like this don't, this, this, you shouldn't even be worried about some shit like this. Like, oh well, because you already got new love right here. You are about to go through a strong ass transformation. You're going to feel this though out of nowhere. It's like your mind is too focused on some bullshit. Are you, this, you already know this, this, how this person get down. So why do you continue to try to. Put your best foot forward or give this person your all. You need to just give it up here with the death and reverse because you got something new as soon as you let it go. Mm. Yeah, it's, this Pisces is juggling somebody. So whoever this is that I'm talking to, Taurus, is that's dealing with the Pisces, look deeper, dig deeper, but you've been feeling it with the high priestess. You know that this, the high priestess and the moon out here, you know that this fucking Pisces is really holding it, like is really being deceptive towards you. It's like they got a whole home somewhere else or like a baby and a baby mama somewhere else. Like they happy somewhere else, but still want to play with you and cling on and hold on to you. What's this death and rebirth about for, for uh, Taurus spirit, please? What's this death and rebirth about for Taurus? Who is this at this... What's this death and rebirth of our spirit? That was the fucking truth. Whoever dealing with the Pisces, they they being they being a snake behind your back. Period. Death and rebirth was clarified with the ace of swords here. Yeah, it's just time to like, you know, cut some shit loose. Something about lemon. Something about lemonade. They keep showing me this shit. Okay. Somebody could like to drink lemonade a lot. This could be a confirmation of this person. Give me a little bit more on this. 
A Taurus spirit, give me a little bit more on this. Can you please make this clear for me? Queen of Cups here, Knight of Swords. I better find your loving. I better find your heart. It's like somebody wants to come in and fight for them and then you are being advised to move on and give love to somebody else. Somebody don't deserve you at all. It's like this is like everybody else's energy, but where the fuck is Taurus at? Like you got death and rebirth. I mean death and rebirth. Ace of Swords, Queen of Cups, Knight of Swords. Somebody's rushing, like somebody's coming towards you with the truth here, with the uh, Ace of Swords, Queen of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. Somebody wants to like... So you could have found this out. This is this is confusing. I don't know why this is so confusing here. This it, it's never been that confusing. What the fuck? You got somebody in your energy, a Sagittarius or a Leo could be sleeping around with a Pisces here. Like right up under your nose with this how with this with this uh four of wands card here. Like right, you know, you you feel it already, you know it already. Just it, just that it could be a, a family member that's sleeping around with your your person. You're gonna be you gonna feel a little bit of you know. The shit gonna hurt a little bit, but you, the three of wands and the sun out here, it's like, you got something way better. The three of wands, the sun, and the ace of cups. You got somebody that's gonna stand up for you, stand in what they believe on, love you for you here that's coming towards you. This somebody had, somebody had to go through a dark night of the soul here with this death and rebirth. The, the ace of, uh, ace of swords, queen of cups, and the knight of swords. So whoever this is that's dealing with the Libra Gemini, I, I see Aquarius too. This could be a Scorpio coming towards you too. Somebody is like went through the dark night of the soul and now is rushing in and to, to take action towards you. So this is actually a good thing here. And then it's like you got this Ace of Cups. What's this Ace of Cups about? Is this a new love spirit? Somebody need to take they confused ass home. You got a person that's in your energy that's confused. Don't know what the fuck they want to do. One minute they sleep around. One minute they want to step up and be a man about it and tell you the truth. Like, what the fuck? What's this Ace of Cups about for Taurus Spirit? What's this Ace of Cups about for Taurus Spirit? Make this clear to me, please. You got the chariot, ooh, the page of swords, mm, the three of swords, the tower, and the five of pentacles here. It's like you start something new with somebody. The shit get to move a real fast here. Somebody go, you know that you go go looking and you shall find. Go seeking and you shall find. Somebody find out some shit it hurt. The tower moment come here and then boom, you back where you started from with this person. But I'm gonna let me clarify this. Um, what's this tower about for Taurus here? It's like you the good one, but for some reason you always, because you're showing up as the queen of cups here. You always showing love to a person that does not deserve your love or something like that. You could have ran back into a Pisces here, but then you're going to find out that a Pisces do secretly got some shit going on. They gonna Somebody want to step up and tell you the truth about it. Want to move things forward with you. You go seeking and you shall find. You find some shit out. It's going to hurt a little bit. Then, Oh, Lord. What's this tower about? What's this tower about for Taurus Spirit? Clear by the tower. Can you make this a little more clear for me? The world. Something come to an end fast. Yeah, something start up real fast and then come to an end real fast. Because you find out that a motherfucker got you in. You know? 
It's just Cancer Artist Pisces. You got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius out here strong too, and then you got Gemini. You got somebody from your past that wants to come in and make a move and take charge on you and start all over. They change, baby. I change for you. Somebody could start some shit with that Lib uh, a Libra. I keep saying Libra for some reason. Um, a Libra or a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But it started. It get there. Get it wise. Getting is good. You, yo, getting your investigation. Or this Pisces or this Scorpio or this Cancer get to investigate and figure out some shit that you doing something. Or you figure out something that they do something. And as fast as it started, it ends. Now somebody feel like, you know, ain't no sunshine when she's gone. That's why I said, this is why you coming out here, Taurus. Has, I love you. You know that. Construct some constructive criticism you know i got your back period this why you coming out with the as the king the queen of pentacles you got the king of pentacles right up at the bottom of the deck oh we with the fool and the empress yeah somebody's somebody's coming to take charge on you baby i don't know who this is but it's like you got to kiss a couple of frogs before you get to the prince but as soon as you do that here they go wow mm. Yeah, uh, Taurus, you just got to focus on yourself for right now. I don't know. I told you this last week in one of your readings. You talking about, I ain't bored and I ain't, yeah, you got everything literally going on with you being a queen of pentacles. So you jump into some shit quick because you want, you know, mm -hmm. you just got to, you just got to get in your bag and stay in your bag. Like your focus needs to be somewhere else. This is all of this shit that's going on right here is because you allowing it to. You jumping in shit real quick with somebody and just as fast as you jump in and shit get through up and rolling, you find out they fucking somebody else. Or they got a whole home somewhere, baby mama put up somewhere here. It's going to hurt a little bit. The tower going to come. The shit is going to end with the world here, the five of wands and the tower. The tower, the world, the five of wands. That did, cycle closed here. Somebody could be about to go uh, start something or go at it with a, a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Strong fire sign and strong water sign. This is water and fire all over here. So over here, you got your past that's, that's still holding on. Like you, look at this. Somebody is still in a cut waiting on you. You didn't jump out of that situation. That shit has come to an end. Now you jump into something new with this Ace of Cups, Death and, Re Death and Rebirth, the Moon here in the Queen of Pentacles. You ready for something new? But as soon as it starts fast here, shit is gonna get the rolling with the chariot here. Somebody gonna go looking for some shit because it's too good to be true. Gonna find out some shit that's gonna hurt your heart. You gonna come in and huff and puff and blow the motherfucker down. It's a wrap between you and I, and then somebody gonna be feeling left out in the cold. I hope this helped you, Taurus. Um, look out for what's coming next. Okay, because that's your next uh, reading. I hope this helps you. Please don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe button. Okay, love you. Talk to you later. Peace.